Welcome to the Serious Shift Blogcast. We have only one question. What does Serious Shift mean to you? To answer that and much more, here's your host, Dennis Mosley-Williams. Hi, I'm Dennis, and welcome back to the Serious Shift Blogcast, episode number 100. It's historic, number 100. When I started doing this, I remember somebody said to me, you'll never get 100 of those done. You don't even have a top lip. Here's my question for you today. How's working from home going? <laughs> okay, I'm talking to a lot of people every day. For some of us, it's not going so well. For some of us, it is. So I want to share with you how to work successfully from home. I've been working from home for over 20 years. The last time I worked in an actual office was a long time ago, 20 years ago. And I, I went home one day after work and I literally just never went back. I've worked from my home in my own office, which I call the Accelerator Since. The Accelerator... Um, like like the TARDIS from Doctor Who, the accelerator can exist anywhere in time and space. For several weeks a year, um, it relocates to my lake and where to, to the cabin in the woods and I work out of an accelerator there. Right now at this minute, the accelerator is my bedroom, if you can believe it. And, and believe me, when I thought about shooting videos at any time in my life in my bedroom, this was not ever what I thought they would be. Um, but this room under these strange circumstances, the three rules are abided by. Here's what the three rules are. Number one, for you to have an accelerator, it can be anywhere, so long as, number one, you have access to state-of-the-art technology, no ifs, ands, or buts. No like, oh yeah, I can work on the deck and it works pretty well, but I have to go inside to send emails. No, wherever the accelerator is is where your chair is and you absolutely have to have access to state-of-the-art technology. Full stop, you need that. A little add-on there all state-of-the-art technology. I remember there was a time in my life for years and years where I didn't use a headset. Can you imagine? A third of my time, I'm on the telephone. I didn't have a headset. Moron. State-of-the-art technology. Have access to it and have everything that you need. I'm an Apple guy. I'm Appled out. Okay? Here's rule number two. The accelerator must be comfortable. Okay? It has to be heated and air-conditioned. Go back to the idea of sitting on your deck. Don't work for me. Sitting under the pounding sun, uh, maybe a little bit of work out there, but no, this is work. This is accelerating. This is shipping. Things have to get done. The accelerator has to be heated. It has to be air conditioned. You have to have a perfect workspace. I have a perfect enough workspace today at today's accelerator, but in my usual accelerator, I have a stand-up hydraulic desk. When I sit down, I have a Herman Miller chair. It is gorgeous, okay? It is air conditioned, it is heated, it is beautiful, it is lovely. There is inspiring art and pictures in there. The accelerator rocks. Here's number three. Uh, you know, and a tip of the hat to Virginia Woolf, who was right the whole time. You need a room of your own <laughs> with a door. You got to be able to lock the door so you can focus. Full stop. That's it. Those are the three rules of the accelerator. Like the TARDIS, it can exist anywhere in space and time. So long as you have access to state-of-the-art technology, check. It's comfortable, completely check. And third, it has a door that you can lock so you can focus on shipping your work. Because they're right here, I'll show you this. A pair of these bad boys never helps. Noise uh, canceling headphones from Bose. I can't live without these things, okay? Now, now you've got an accelerator. That's fantastic. Now let me explain a little something to you that some of you might have already figured out. When you work at home, it's really easy to overwork. You'll work harder at home than you will in the office. You'll, you'll start earlier, you'll finish later. So watch out because successful work is sustainable work. So I did take a moment to jot down just a couple of little rules I follow. The first is to keep regular hours and to use a schedule. Okay, Get up and do your usual routine. I find working at home... Get up early, work early, end early. That works really well for me, but stick to a schedule. I'll let you worry about your finer points. Number two, morning, get into a routine. Okay, get out of bed early, all that great stuff, okay? Do your routine, and something I do when I'm working at home is I try in a weird way, it's like a, a signal to myself, is I, I wear a jacket. I kind of dress up to go to work even though I don't leave the house. I know it's crazy, but I even change my shoes. <laughs> okay, very interesting, but I do. Um, 
working in a t you know in my pajamas that's just not going to work that's not a, I, I don't recommend it number three is take a lot of breaks i'm not going to get into the weeds you you understand that every hour break for 15 minutes i am telling you look back since you started this uh working from home business how many days have you put in lots of hours how many of you days at the end you said to your wife or your husband or whomever oh my god i can't believe this i worked all day i never even went outside that's not good this is sustainable here folks right we got to be able to do this every day which brings me to number four go outside i try to spend two hours outside every single day i've got a dog so it works really well for me that becomes basically two really nice long walks with my dog download some podcasts i have one you can listen to go for a walk with your dog put your noise canceling headphones on and while you're walking your dog you're filling your head up with some really beautiful thinking a little bit of wonderful, the right kind of multitasking. And here's the fifth one. I learned this when I worked in a wood shop. At the end of the day, spend the last 30 minutes of your work day cleaning up the shop. Make sure that when you show up to work tomorrow, the last guy, who's you, left the place set up nicely for the next guy, who's also you, to succeed. You want to walk in and be inspired, okay? Um, just as a final thought, before all the coronavirus nonsense, I had been designing um, an accelerator to build in my backyard. And uh, I've uh, pretty much decided over the next few days to do that. So I'm going to have some fun planning that out and, and keeping you guys abreast of the uh, my plans and all that great stuff. So my friends, there you go. These are strange days indeed, but we're all getting through it, aren't we? Right? Of course we are. We're accelerating because what other choice have we got? So remember... When you're working at home, there's going to be a tendency to overwork. You'll start earlier and later. So keep an eye on that by following a schedule. Correct? Correct. Access to state-of-the-art technology. Check. Comfortable. Check. A door you can close. When those things are in place, the accelerator is in place. And when the accelerator is in place, absolutely anything can happen. As always, everybody, it means a lot to me to have your attention. Thank you very much. Keep on keeping on. I can't wait to see you all soon. Probably not as soon as we'd like, but a lot sooner than we fear. See you guys soon. Be well. Cheers. We hope you enjoyed the Serious Shift blogcast. We would love any suggestions, feedback on topics, ideas, or challenges that may have you feeling stuck. Also, please leave a five-star review wherever you are enjoying this content. It helps Dennis out tremendously. On behalf of Dennis and the team, see you next episode.